this is like, I think every Israeli knows this song probably. It's like, Shnei Meshugayim Omer Adam. And I like, I know like most of the words, but. I've been coming since I was a kid. And we'd always visit the Kotel, pray, walk around Jerusalem. And I've always felt very connected, you know, like even though like I've lived in America and I didn't necessarily live here, like people walking around being proud to be Jews. And I remember like coming here as a kid and being like, Mom, like look at all these people in the streets like wearing a kippah or like Look at all these Jews, like I was like, I was blown away. So I always remember coming here and feeling connected to the land. Like I did like a video where I was like singing like Shnei Meshugayim, half Hebrew, half English. And that got like 500,000 views. And that like started like my Israel following. And from there I like kept posting and kept like, kept building my following here. So many souls in this world that you could choose from. My name is Davy. I'm 18 years old. I make music. Looks can be deceiving, don't be fooled by the makeup. Music has always been a big part of my life because of my father, Modest Yahoo, who has introduced me to this. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, in uh, Crown Heights, in a small like Chabad community. Growing up seeing my dad on stage and being uh, like a kid, like I was raised like on a tour bus, it makes people's expectation of you like very like, oh like he has to do this very good or he has to be a reggae singer, not a pop singer, or he has to go in this direction, not the other direction. But I don't know, I just, my dad always taught me to like do our own thing and like be who we are, so that's always what I try to do. Amen. And I know time's got you down, but please just look ahead. I what kind of impact did religion have on your family? I think it's tied us down, you know, it's, it's kept us from going insane a little. I'm wearing a kippah like a lot of times and sometimes I'm not. Even this, like a mug and David, it just like plays such a big role. It's a way that I could feel like I'm representing on the outside, at the same time on the inside. So how did you get started in music? I think I would start with I was like playing with my toys and I would like set them up like they were going to battle and I would start singing like songs about them and like I would just like sing wherever I went. I started high school around like when Corona and COVID just started and I remember being bored and my dad was like, yo, like you should learn how to produce music. Every day from like 9 a.m. to like 10 p.m. at night before I would crash out, I would just sit there, record, write songs all day, all day, all day. I played it for my dad. His reaction was like crazy. He's like, yo, like this is some Justin Bieber shit. Like, Say so many souls in this world that you could choose from Yet you make bad choices out of that and emotions Like music is my therapy so instead of going and talking to a therapist and sharing my feelings I write them down But a lot of my music recently has been about like growth and self-growth and like I'm 18, you know, I'm young, I'm still, I'm still growing and even if you're like 25, even if you're like 45, you can still be growing so just this idea that I've been putting into my song of like growing like in relationships, growing in life, growing in like Torah and like in God, you know, like it's like a journey of finding yourself. So like to come to Israel to like a new country with a new like perspective and a new like foundation, it's very like eye-opening. I came like four or five months ago for yeshiva to learn. On October 7th, I was um, in a frat, but my friend woke me up that morning, runs into the room, he's like, Lee, shakes me, Levi, Levi, wake up, wake up. We have to go to the bomb shelter. Uh, I like woke up and I'm like, what are you saying? Like, let me go back to sleep. And like, as soon as I said that, like we heard a boom, like, and the house shook. And I remember like in my like, in my chest, I, I felt like this feeling that I never really felt before, like, like I was in danger. I went back to New York a week after October 7th, just because my family, like, 
they, they wanted me home, you know, they wanted me with family in this time. And I did a performance at Columbia uh, University because they had a lot of like anti-Semitic protests on campus. You did it with your dad, right? Yeah, I did it with my father. One thing, you could see like the kids' like faces right. go from like scared to like Something. feeling like united. Like Am Yisrael Chai, you know, like togetherness. Even like in America, everywhere, everywhere you go, there's a lot of hate. And it just, what can my generation do about it? It's, we can all come together and we could show each other support and love. And that's how I think we'll rise against anything. I, I love Israel. You just feel like when you come, you feel very connected to the land and the people. Having a Jewish family is very important to me, and I for sure want to marry a Jewish wife and raise my kids in a very spiritual home. So one day I want to have like a, a real home with a bunch of kids and a Shabbat table with a lot of food and a happy family, you know?